Hey guys, you here from Joe Gaming and welcome back to another episode of the tutorial series with today of course another part of the uh yeah House of Histories. I didn't call it a series today. Yes, yes, so proud. And um today I'm building the staircase include with the ba not not really a basement, but a little bit of a closet in it. Um at the same time and if you didn't know it already, the House of Histories is a, is a series where I, where I make a giant uh, house. Uh, just a, a little bit modern, I, I like modern more. H however you want to call it modern, it's just between modern and old. It's just... It's just now. Let's say it like that. And um, I make every detail of the house. So... Today I'm going to build a staircase as, as I said already and this is what you will need for that. So you will need two one and a half stacks um, almost of uh, wood planks I would recommend. But you also can use other um, stuff. Then uh, stairs, slabs, uh, oak door, three trap doors, no iron that's, um, that's clear. No iron you could do but uh, it's not included in this recipe with levers. Three chests, uh, just regular. Um, two spruce doors, two armor stands, one bookshelf, one flower pot, one cactus, one torch, one item frame, one furnace, and one painting. So that is what you're going to need for this uh, build. And we're just going to start out with by building a frame to that corner over there from the highest point of this wall. Now this wall is four high and the stairs is going to be a slightly tiny bit bigger than it actually has to be. So when you ma made this huge pail, which isn't really realistic, they wanted to look at the pile of dirt and then build up from that. So you have a little bit of pillar right there then yeah that's the starting of the wall and when speaking of the wall we can uh, immediately build out like this like this and then you will have your wall right here then the same you will do here build out till here exactly and um, then we're going to start off by the lean the the outside part of the stairs. So what you want to do is uh, take the dirt block again, place normal block next to it and uh, behind that you want to place your stairs and from there you want to start build up. Now this is going to be one higher than the uh, the wall right there because um, else you won't have you would have a flat area when you go and come up. So what I like to do right here is build out a little bit more like that and then continue on building right here by placing some more like this and one more as I said before and then uh, cover this up like that. Am I doing this right? Yes, I'm doing this right. Then two out of the uh, wall of the, of the complete top and where you end you will want to place two up. When you did that you want to get your um, oak door and step inside of the gap and place your door down however you want. I would like to do it like this because it makes more like uh, more space and it looks derpy on this side. And when you did that you want to get your stairs and go one behind the leaning of it and start building out like this place two planks oh yeah nope I don't want that and then two more uh, stairs above it and here's where it get a little bit more complicated because you place two stairs next to the block like you actually have a symmetry in it but here you want to do it ex exactly the opposite so you will actually have a little bit of a gap in here and that's not of particular use but I like it a little bit better and what you want to do then is just continue with your normal stairs till uh, no not like that I don't like that till here 
And when you did that, you're going to place one stairs. One stairs right here. And then you want to take your half slabs and place them down like. Eh. Parkour hero. Place them down on this way. And then you're just going to take away these. I'm a little bit messy with this because it's a kind of bigger build and it's just yeah, it's just a lot bigger and lo actually a lot harder to make this, believe me. And yeah, it's it's just it's just it's just hard. It's life. It's just like like normal life. It's hard. Like that, like that. And when you have it like this set up, you want to take this is so bad. <laughs> Honestly, this is so bad. <laughs> I'm just going to fill up the floor a little bit already. Like this, 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 and this. But stop here. You want to place one slab right there. And then you're going to take a few away a few of your slabs right here as well. One slab right there. You can take this one away. And this one away. And remove this as well and place your slab right there so now you have a little bit of a messy stuff right here it looks a little bit a little bit cooler I think and we want to place your last slab of the floor right there now I'm going to get a little bit more serious and a little bit more easier we're going to get over here now over here you want to place one your last two blocks on the top of here and two stairs next to that so you have a little bit um, uh, something that the stairs can rest on. And when you finish that, you want to do a little bit of a, a closet, actually. It's not really closet, but it's, it's a sort of closet. And when you did, you want, what you want to do, you want to place one stairs, just uh, right next to the wall. Then you want to jump, or here, not here already. You want to place another one on top, jump. And another one, and you will have sort of, yeah, closet already, or like the, the little gaps where you can put stuff in. But that that's not it. You want to place your stairs like this on the sides, and then you have a weird closet thingy. What you want to do then is get your chest and place them like this with shift and jump and place them down. You have a whole row of chests, you can't see that right here, but when you get your stairs out, or your oak wood planks, uh, oak wood slab, sorry, out, you want to place them, I uh, got to think a little bit, sorry, you want to place this one, the, every time you want to have um, the upper one, so gap, 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 what you want to do then is grab your um, trap doors and place them on the sides. I'm going to set it today. And what cool is about this, you have a little bit. Um, it doesn't. It also makes a little bit more like detail. What's cool is you can actually go inside the chest. The other one is uh, the one underneath is a little bit hard to get, but uh, let's see. Can I? Yes, I can reach it. But the coolest thing is that this is wrong. I seriously did it wrong. <laughs> okay, so slap, slap, slap. Don't slap it in real life because it will die. Like this. And now you can also reach this one easier. You can reach this one and if you jump on this one, you can reach the bottom. The the one above as well. Now you get get a few things left that you want to start off in the closet thing. And the first thing you want to do in the corner, you want to place a bookshelf with on top a flower pot within it a cactus. It starts to rain. This is a crappy episode. And what you want to do then is grab your item frame, place them uh, above the cactus, a torch on the side, and a furnace in the item frame that you want to rotate a few 
times like this. It looks like a bit, a little bit of a holder, and you're probably going to say like you could use um, um, iron. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I completely forgot how those things are called. Anvils, sorry. You can also place anvil in them because then it looks more metaphor. But that's not the case because I wanted to make it a little bit more uh, modern. And because there's, uh, if there, if you use a bigger light source, it will be look fat. I used uh, just a regular torch, and also if you because I do this in survival, it would be way too expensive. So I did it like this, and what you want to do is now with the last gap in, on the back, you want to grab your two items that uh, or armor stands, place them down, grab your doors, and go stand behind them, place them like this so you have a little bit of a closet. You can open it, and it's like, an, yeah, you can put your clothes on it. Like your rain clothes, and then because most time you don't use it, and when you actually do use it, you can just hop it to your closet, or you put them in there, and then you can uh, grab it easily. Now you only have one painting, and that's for the finishing touch right here. It's let's see in how much turns we can get it. Two, three, oh, the, yeah. four, four, four tries. In four freaking tries, we have it already. The one I wanted, because it's, uh, it's a little bit the same like color, and that also concludes the. Yeah, still here. I like that. That also concludes this episode of um, the House of History. I will hop into game mode one right now, and I will show you a little bit how it looks. This will be filled up later because, but if you make a frame right now, you have to make everything already and, and I I'm really not going to make that because all this, some of the custom things are really hard to make like um, or just invent and that now it, it is it isn't that complicated yet but it gets way more complicated on the way so you have your little uh, closet right here same right there for your rain clothes or other kind of clothes if your little light source, that's completely not metaphor, right there. And up here you have a little bit more, yeah, dynamic stuff. And uh, yeah, that's it for this episode of the tutorial series with today, the House of History. Living room part, the stairs. And uh, yeah, if you have a reason for it, make sure to slap that like button with your beak. Also, if you're new to the channel and you want more content, make sure to subscribe as well. And um, also a little bit for uh, the future. Uh, soon I'm going. I'm planning to make another a machinima like I did before. That was a school project, but now I actually got an idea of a classmate of mine who wanted to make an epic story about chicken. So we're going to do KFC stories or something like that. And it's going to be awesome, I hope. I'm going to try and make it completely in survival. Or no, completely on my own, let's say it like that. But I don't know if it's going to work or that it's even going to come out. So we have to see like that. And soon I will give my channel a few a giant makeover. Oh my god. And it will have a different name, different uh, banner, different intro, different feet, different... No, I, no, ne never mind. But um, I'll uh, say that a few more times so you can, so everyone who watches the different series get to notice it. But it will still have some work because I also want to change my player name and I don't know how. But... Enough about that, I'm Juju from Juju Gaming, and I'll see you guys all later.